let me write down my times here so I can chop this thing up here in just a little bit. Um, NFC North, we're going to fire things off with the Chicago Bears. Went 8-8 eight eight last year. Matt Nagy in his third season. And who? Uh, win total is set at 8.5 to go over. 8.5 is plus 160. I think they're telling you something with that as well. Uh, to go under is minus 200. I mean, there is a chasm of difference between those two. To win the division, they are plus 500. And I'll give you a little little wink there. That is the worst odds at Bet Online. They've got the worst odds to win the division. So It doesn't surprise me. Uh, offensive yards per play last year. Uh, this is one of the teams that was even worse than the Steelers. Number 31 in yards per play, and, and it was rounded to 4.7, but it was a little below that. Um, defensive yards per play, however, they were number six, and they only gave up 5.1 yards per play. Turnover margin, number 17, they were dead equal. Right across the board, uh, you know, no gain, no negative, no nothing. And, you know, the camp rumors that Trubisky has actually looked pretty good, um, I, I don't know if that is – if that is the GM, you know, Ryan Pace, who we like to uh, crap on quite trying, a bit. Trying to save his job. Trying to save his job. But I, I, I will tell you this. They, they do have some weapons. You know, they, they bring in Jimmy Graham. They bring in uh, – they, they've got guys. You know, Alan Hearns Robinson. and Robinson. Alan Robinson's and good. They've, uh, uh, Anthony, Anthony Miller. Good. Yep. And, and oh, Montgomery is supposed to be healthy. You know, we'll see. Uh, obviously, yeah, I think he got carted off or something like that last week. So, we'll, But we'll see what happens with that. Um, they got weapons. They got guys. They shouldn't be as bad as they are on offense, especially with a guy that learned under Andy Reid, right? I This looks like a situation that Nick Foles was absolutely built for. And you bring in a guy that you owe $50 million to, I, you know, I think he's going to win the job. Like I, I, I think Trubisky is on the way out. And, you know, if you're the GM, it doesn't matter. Just make – if you start winning games, you're likely not going to get fired. Like, period. That's the way it goes. So, uh, for the defense, I think, obviously, we still love Khalil Mack, but he had the lowest sack rate that he has had since his rookie season last year. That's he only got eight and a half. he's ever had. And, and that is because uh, there was nowhere for him to have space, right? Yeah. Uh, they, they had injuries on that line. He couldn't get around. He was dealing with double teams basically all season. They bring in Robert Quinn. I think that's going to open things up a little bit for him. I think you will see an improvement on that eight and a half sack rate. Um, I think the defense will be a little bit better. I think Nick Foles will actually be improved in that offense. You know, however, I don't think it's going to show in uh, in their record. Like I, I think the other teams in this division are just as strong and whatnot as they are. Uh, I've got them seven and nine. I just I, I don't I don't like them enough to give them a winning record. I. I don't think they I, – I think they're going to be okay. I don't think they're going to be the dregs. No. I think the defense is still going to be good. I don't think anybody in this division is going to be the dregs. Yeah. So I, I think I, it's going to be a super competitive division. Exactly, which is why I've got them at 7-9. and nine. And So I, I, I don't like them to make the playoffs, but I do like them to be able to, uh, to ruin some team seasons. Yeah. So I've got them 9-7. and seven. I, I think they're going to be a little improved because Foles just has to be better than Trubisky. If Mitchell is the, the – the starting quarterback, I, I don't I don't have a lot of thought because I don't even know what to do with that. Okay. I don't know how you evaluate anybody if you've got two years of film on this guy and you think one weird ass training camp because of COVID is going to convince you that Mitchell is still the guy. Okay. I don't care how bad Foles is. It doesn't matter. He's not as bad as Mitchell Trubisky. Okay? Agree. That guy can't play. All right. So um I think they're going to be better. Roquan Smith is coming into his own. It's, he's going to be his third year leading that defense, and uh, and I think that's going to help open things up. Um, he's he's improved. Got to stay healthy, and and I think him and Mac are, are going to be just fine. I think that defense is going to be remarkably better than they were last year. Okay, but a lot of that is I'm trusting Foles to be the quarterback, them to not go three and out over and over and over again, and the the defense to not be on the field so much. So the difference of this team as opposed to the Steelers is, is they don't have the opportunity to play less defense. They have to play a lot of defense because they don't have a strong running game, even as good as Montgomery was. That they, they just didn't – the way they play offense, they don't run the football enough to control the clock, move the chains, and even if they don't score – to not just just to eat clock and let your defense get a rest. That's just not how they've been playing. 
and they got to figure that out if they can't move the ball. I think Foles can move the ball for them. I think they got enough weapons. I think they're going to be good, not great. Um, I I think the most important thing here is some somebody has to fire Ryan Pace. I don't know who that is, <laughs> but somebody I'll do it if they want somebody to do it. I'll you don't have to pay my room board. You have to fly. I'll get up to Chicago. I love the city. Listen, buy me a meal. I, I'll do it. There you go. What uh, what you got them going this year? Nine and seven. Nine I got and seven. Nine and seven. Okay. I got them over that. All right. That sounds uh, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. Uh, let me jump into these comments really quick because it is this is a hoot over here. We'll we'll say that. Uh, Matt Miller said Vikings and Ravens are winning these two divisions. Uh, Mark says purple people eaters. Uh, DFS Bachelor said I'll take the Steelers over nine. Loser pays for the first lap dance in Vegas, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking um, about. I don't go to strip clubs. And then <laughs> DFS said, this will be my funnest bet of the year, by the way. Um, Matt Miller said, uh, DFS, I think Chris would prefer Magic City and its magical wings. I think I'm not a wing guy. Have we talked about that yeah, on we, the show? I think we talked about it on the show before. I know we've definitely talked about it in our like group texts. Yeah. Uh, no, no you're, you're, you're more barbecue. You'd prefer well, just give me a leg. If I'm going to eat chicken, give me a leg. Give me a I, I want to get some meat. Uh, DFS said, I'm flexible as long as I have a shot to meet my next ex-wife. So <laughs> that is, uh, listen, Mark said, uh, we're uh, all day to day. Let's see. Mariota backing up four. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, how many weeks for Foles to be named the starter? Uh, that'll determine their record. And Matt Zero. Miller said, Ryan Pace is like that uh, hoarding grandma, but with tight ends. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> I just you got that right. Hit him in the face. I'm not a violent person. I just want to hit him with a chair. And you're I not even a Bears fan. Ass. I like, just... I just want to. I just want to hurt him. I mean, you're you're not. I don't want to hurt him bad. It's I just insane. Want to hurt him? I I like this team, and I think what he's doing to this franchise is is criminal. Yes. Let's move into the next one. Go ahead. The Detroit Lions went three twelve and one last year, and they fell apart after they lost Matt Stafford. It was just uh, brutal. Matt Patricia going into his third season. This is kind of a critical year for him. Uh, six and a half is the win total. To go over is minus one sixty. To go under is plus 130, and I think basically that is going to hinge on whether or not Matt Stafford stays healthy this season. All accounts say that he should stay healthy. You know, he got the back problem fixed last year, sat out for a long time. He healed up. I think he's going to be okay. Uh, to win the division, they are plus 450. They got better odds to win the division at two games less uh, in their win total than the Bears do. So I, I don't understand that kind of math. I don't make odds. I just pick them. That I, that doesn't make any sense to me. We think they're going to be two games worse. Yeah, they got a better shot at winning the division, though. I mean, they, like, they might. If Matt Stafford stays healthy all season, like that six yeah, and a half you is got, just. That, you got to take that into effect of the win-loss record, too, then, right? I, I would think so. I would think so. Um, let's dive into some of the numbers here. Offensive yards per play, they were number 18 in the league last year at 5.4. It's kind of impressive. Uh, Mark said, when are you guys coming to Vegas? Hey, man, as soon as they start lifting, like, travel ban crap and whatever else, like, I, I think we can get there right now. When it's now, fun but to actually go do something. Yeah, when it's actually I, fun I to do it. I can't go and be restricted. It, I don't get enough time off, and, and it costs too much. I want but, to and, go I mean, and let loose. Like, give me a break. They, they're not even letting people into, uh, into the Raiders games right now. I mean, come on. Yeah, no, like, I'm not going until I can go into that stadium. That's one thing. But also, I don't go to Vegas in the summertime either. I, like, October yeah. is the earliest I would go. And I usually April the latest I'll go. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, too it's damn hot. 120 degrees on that asphalt out there is ridiculous. I am fat. Uh, defense, I don't do that. <laughs> defensive yards per play, number 25 in the league last year, 5.9 yards per play. Uh, turnover margin, number 24. That was not good, right? Driscoll and that bunch uh, didn't didn't do well. It gave up uh, 0.3 turnovers per game last year. Um, and so. Again, the question is, can Stafford stay healthy? I mean, they looked good with him early last year. Uh, they bring in uh, – I should have written the guys – DeAndre Swift. They bring in Swift. Uh, on Johnson had issues with staying healthy, of course. So, you bring in a guy that you hope can stay healthy. Uh, Swift, pretty good at catching the football out of the backfield. That's, you know, a step in the right direction. They, they got, you know, Galladay. They got, you know, some weapons on that offense. Uh, their question really is is defense. I mean, they need all the help that they can get on defense. Uh, they brought in free agent linebacker Jamie Collins from New uh, New England, and they brought in uh, Desmond Trufant. They need uh, they need Jeff Okuda to be good. I mean, they they bring him in, and I mean they got to have they got to have those guys step up. I mean they they just they, they went out, they got some free agents, they got some draft picks and whatnot, but it it hinges on whether or not this defense is going to be okay. 
and I ain't sold yet. You know, I want them to be good. I want I like Matt Patricia and I like Matt Stafford, and I want them to be good. Uh, but I've got them going under that six and a half, man. I got them at six and ten. You know, there there's a lot of hype on this team that oh, this might be the year that they can win the division. They can go from you know last to first and and all that because somebody always does. I mean, I'm just going to have to see it before before I will go putting my money on that. Uh, I'm going to go under the six and a half. I've got six and ten on this. I got them eight and eight. I think they're going to be okay. improved. I don't know that they're going to be great. I think a lot of people are going to lose a lot of first coach fired bets. I do think that this guy is on the hottest of hot seats out of everybody, but uh, I don't think it's going to be him because I think they're going to win too many games. I think this team is good, and I think if Stafford stays healthy, they're going to go eight and eight. I don't think that. I think that's their floor. I think that's where they're going to end up being. Um, they've just brought in too many new weapons. I'm not a big Swift fan. I wish that there's a, a hundred other running backs I would have gotten over him. Oh, agree. But agree. But it, you know, they went the route they wanted to go. Let's see if it works. I I am a huge Kennedy Holiday fan. Uh, I I think we are going to see uh, T.J. Hawkinson, uh, the big tight end, kind of take strides into to come into his own. I, I picked Stafford as my comeback player of the year. Okay. I, I think this guy is going to to win that that award. I think he's going to stay healthy. I think he's going to put up big numbers, and I think they're going to be a lot better. That defense is going to be better because they're going to play less defense, and that's the most important factor for being a good defense. Yeah. Now you're you're dead on about that. Um, Mark said it was a hundred in Vegas today. He said uh, he said he lives like five minutes from the new Raiders place, and that it is really cool when it's lit up at night. Um, DFS said first coach fired Adam Gase. So, and we, I, so, ooh, we, <laughs> we can have that conversation whenever you'd like. I actually don't think it's Gase because I think the new GM and Gase are BFF. And so I, I see. got a different one. Uh, DFS said totally off topic, but tell me that Sam Darnold doesn't look like a Lego policeman. <laughs> I can believe that. I can hundred percent believe that. Um, he said, I'm going to miss betting against David Blau. Yeah. No, that's that's the truth. Well, yeah, that was and just he, free money. And he brought up that uh, that Detroit lost Slay to Philly, but it's going to be tough on defense. Yeah, they they lost Slay because they didn't want to pay him, and, and that's why they brought in Okuda and, and Trufant and all that. So that's right. You know, I, I think um, I think it's going to be tough. Like I, we we thought that Patricia was going to bring kind of that New England style hey, here's, to Detroit. Here's, here's the problem. No, he did, but he did. He this did. Is the issue with these guys. They all come into a new job, and they want to try to be Bill instead of be themselves. Yes. I think Brian Flores is doing good, seemingly better than anybody else who's ever left Bill's program before after one year of a team trying to tank. And he was like, nope, I'm winning games. Because he's trying to be himself and not Bill. You yeah. can't be Bill. You're not him. That guy is weird, quirky, savant-like. You can't, you can't be that. And if you try faking that – these NFL dudes see right. They're grown ups. They're adults. Yeah. They can they tell when they're being bullshit, man. Then you just can't do that. No, you're uh, you're dead on. You are dead on. All right, let's move into the Green Bay Packers. Matt Lafleur entering in his second season. They went thirteen and three last year. Their win total for this season sits at nine, according to Bet Online. To go over is plus one thirty. To go under is minus 160, and to win the division, they are plus 170. So they're sitting right there, second best odds. Uh, offensive yards. What does that play? tell you, Gary? What does that tell you, Gary? <laughs> this is time it, to drop back to the pack. Like it seems like yeah. I wrote these odds, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does. Uh, hey, DFS said fun fact in ESPN fantasy leagues, Kaepernick is being drafted ahead of Sam Darnold. And he said, "Okay, well, done. Okay, all right. That makes <laughs> that makes. I would take Kaepernick ahead of Sam Darnold. Um." I mean, maybe I, you know, I don't. I know. don't think Sam Darnold's going to play football much longer. I'd say, I, I think and somebody it, will give him a shot, but he he probably, ain't he probably. ain't doing well. Uh, Joseph said, "Learn from Kylo Ren. You can't be Dark Vader. You just can't." Uh, Mark said, "How do you guys think this virus stuff will affect the draft next year?" Uh, uh, I got no idea what the draft's going to look like next year. We're a long I'll be ways in Cleveland away. for it, but we think it's so long as they oh, have I'm fans. Gonna be in Cle I'm gonna be in Cleveland. Um. Yeah, you know, who knows? Who knows? I'm going to be in Cleveland. If the draft is in Cleveland, I'll be in Cleveland. DFS said, cram it in your cram hole, LaFleur. <laughs> uh, dodgeball, man. Absolutely love it. So, I, right. I told you about showing my daughter that movie for the first time, right? No, we didn't talk about that. Oh, absolutely loved it. It was. It, this has been a couple months ago. 
But uh, yeah, she had never seen she's it, the never right heard age of it. For it. That's good. Yeah, she's uh, just turned fifteen a couple weeks ago. It's perfect age, perfect age. All right, um, number sixteen in offensive yards per play last year. That was not good. Um, and this will surprise you, I think. Number twenty-two in defensive yards per play. They gave up five point seven yards per play on defense. Yeah, the like, defense was supposed to be amazing. They just didn't give up a lot of points. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty insane. Uh, turnover margin, they were number seven, so that obviously helped them out. Uh, they gained half of a turnover every game. They brought in free agent wide receiver Devin Funches, and then he opted out. And that was the only weapon that they brought in, the only wide receiver that they brought in. Um, so, you know, is what it is. They did not address wide receivers really at all, and, and that's, you know, drafting – Jordan Love in the first round, I guess, is is okay if if that's who you are sold on being the future of the franchise. But mm, DFS said worst thirteen and three team since uh, Steve Bono's Chiefs. Yeah, so I so, think so. I, I don't I don't get into the analytics the way you do, but I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of other smart guys um, that 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 dive into the analytics. <clears throat> I know this. I listened to a bunch of guys from Pro Football Focus not too long ago. And they were talking about this number. This team went 13-3. and three. Their over-under is nine. And they are begging people to go over. They do not want anybody betting under because they are certain it's going to go under. And they said all the reasons from last year. This is the same team from last year as this year, okay? They didn't lose a lot of people. They didn't bring anybody. Well, I mean, they, so they, they didn't replace uh, Brian, uh, let's see, Balaga on defense. Um, the schedule gets obviously harder. They brought in A.J. Dillon as a running back. They, they lost some dudes on uh, not a bunch on defense, but for the most part, yes, yeah, same team. Same team. So, You're right. So how did they win 13 games last year? Schedule. And this year they think they're going to win eight, whatever, yeah. or less. And, and the only answer they could come up with was every statistical category was just dumbass luck. I mean, Aaron yeah. Rodgers was living with a horseshoe firmly supplanted inside his rectum the entire year. Yes. And that's it. That's it. If you look at it on paper, everybody says this team is not great. They're okay. They maybe are average. That is it. They, there's no chance in hell they're going 13 again. That tells me I don't think they believe they can win. What are the odds on them to win the division? Uh, plus 170, so second so best odds. Yeah. So they're not paying you very well to win the division. I don't I don't think – I'm following Vegas here. I don't think this team is good. I watched them play last year, I and we said this week in and week out. I have no idea how this team is good. Like I watched them. Yeah. I saw they won the game. I, I don't think they're good, and I thought I was crazy. I thought there was something wrong with me. I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I don't hate Green Bay. I've never hated Green Bay. I used to love them when Favre was there. I, <laughs> we went through this a couple of weeks ago, if you've been a part of the show. I am very much of the world when there are two rivals, you love one and you hate the other. Okay. Yeah. I, I chose Favre many a year ago, and I have not changed my choice on Brett Favre over Aaron Rodgers. All right? So that, that hate will be there forever. That's just what I don't know why I, I drink Coke and I don't drink Pepsi. And that's, I, I can't explain it, but that's it. I made my choice and we're done. The conversation's over. Here's the issue. I, I can't see this team being very good. I don't think Brian LaFleur is good. As Matt, a coach Matt LaFleur. Yeah. Matt LaFleur, whatever, yeah. whatever. It, it's all I the don't same, know right? his name because it doesn't matter because I don't think he's going to be there much longer. Yeah. I don't know. I think there's a world in which Roger – hang on. I said this a couple of years ago when Lamar Jackson got drafted, and I'm going to say it again here. I think somewhere in the middle of this season, Aaron Rodgers is going to come up with some injury, and he is going to step back and get healthy, and we are going to see Jordan Love. And you then think I think so? we don't see him again for the Packers. Okay. Uh, Gomez jumps in. Yep. He, said, uh, he said Aaron Rodgers can win you three more games by himself. Hope for early snow if you're a Green Bay fan. Sure, sure he can. I'll take that action as well. Uh, I'm going under. I, I've got him eight and eight. So oh, okay. I got him seven and nine. I thought this would be the one we'd be the farthest apart on. Yeah, man. I I don't think anybody in this division is great. Like I, I think this is this is. I the, do. I think the Vikings now. When my Vikings record isn't thirteen and three, Ravens great. But I think the Vikings are going to be a very very good football team. 
Well, we'll we'll go ahead and dive into them here momentarily. Uh, Mark jumps in. Uh, he said uh, UNLV is going to play in the Raiders' place. Might have fans in there before the Raiders. That's uh, that's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think about. Uh, it's kind of a little disappointing. I don't. I, if I was the Raiders, I'd almost lock that place off. I, I, I think so. Open the, you spent two billion dollars on the stadium. I know you want to get some money going through it, but I want I want my team to be the first one to run through there. Yeah, I agree. Um, he said uh, he said Notre Dame announcement that only twenty percent fans for the games. Look, that's a that's a way different look than what it was last week when everybody was talking about Notre Dame might not play. So yes. I will take any fans I can get in any of these stadiums. Uh, Mark also said I heard Aaron's nuts were removed by Danica. Um, Damien said Packers going in the basement with the Lions. And DFS said exactly that Viking secondary very young. Um, so here's here's the thing. Let's go ahead and dive into Minnesota here. Write my time down again. The Minnesota Vikings, ten and six last year. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mike Zimmer in his seventh season here. Uh, they lose Stefanski. Obviously, that's uh, kind of a uh, issue. But I, I believe Kubiak still going to be around, still doing his thing. Offensive yards per play. They were number thirteen last year, five point seven yards per play. Defense gave up 5.2 yards per play. That was number 10 in the NFL. Turnover margin, even better. Top three in the NFL. They were number three. They gained .7 turnovers per game. And look, after Thielen, you got to hope that Jefferson steps up because, uh, you know, aside from Thielen and and Dalvin Cook and I guess like Irv Smith and uh, and Kyle and, and everybody else, uh, you know, the tight ends and whatnot, it, you, you got to have – you don't have a ton of proven weapons, right? So you need somebody to step up. Yeah, in but that nobody spot. knew who Thielen was before Thielen became Thielen, and nobody knew who Diggs was before Diggs became Diggs. Okay, agree. But don't forget, Thielen is coming off of an injury, and that's that's where you've got okay. kind of an issue. So you, I'm just you, saying, those guys that you don't know their name today, by week six, you'll know their name. Yeah, yeah. We we should. We hope. We hope. Right. Um, and hopefully, we know them for the right reasons. That's that's the biggest well, yeah. thing. Okay. So um, their only major free agent money was spent on Michael Pierce, defensive lineman, uh, who came over and then opted out for COVID reasons. Um, you know, uh, let's see. DFS Bachelor said, Bissy Johnson is running as a wide receiver two in camp. Uh, Vikes go three wide, less than any team in the league. Yeah, Jefferson yeah. isn't even isn't even top three right now. That's right. So that's that's kind of a deal. You you hope that he can uh, step up. You know, make some make some moves in that department. But we'll see. They, uh, they lost a lot on that defense. Xavier Rhodes, Mackenzie Alexander, uh, Everson Griffin, et cetera. I mean, there were a bunch of them that they lost, right? And that's kind of a problem. But if I'm going to trust anybody with a defense, it's going to be Mike Zimmer. Like, yeah, I, I trust straight. him with a defense. And they I, went out and got guys to replace those guys. Yeah, no, they absolutely did. Their win total is set at nine. Uh, over is minus 105. Under is minus 125. And to win the division, they are plus 160. And look. Like I said, I I don't think anybody in this – I think – you know how the NFC East has just been kind of eh, you know, for the past however many years? Like nobody mm -hmm. ever really gets over nine wins, ten wins, whatever. I, I think that's what this division is right now. I think they're going to eat each other alive. I like the Vikings to win the division. I've got them at nine and seven winning this division. And I, I, I still think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, I got them one game above that, ten and six. Like I said, I think they're going to win it. I think they're going to be pretty good. Listen, I think this division, this defense is going to be pretty good. Okay, they're the only defense that I know of that has two elite, two really good players at all three phases of the defense. All right, you talk about cornerbacks and DBs being young. Okay, listen, that's all the league is made up of of young DBs. All right, if you're an old DB, you're not any good anymore. Okay, these yep. wide receivers are dusting your ass, and guys are coming in every year as rookies or second year guys and taking over the spots. And they're taking over the jobs. I don't want somebody who's been in the league, uh, you know, unless it's Stephon Gilmore, that 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 <laughs> is going to be my cornerback. All right, I just don't. If you've been in the league four or five years, I don't need you. Okay, I need somebody young and fast and, and able to play. And and so that's that's just where I I put this defense. I think Gary Kubiak is going to run the football. Run the, this offense is going to go through Dalvin Cook and that offensive line. They are going to let. Uh, um, holy cow, the quarterback of this football team. Oh, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> wow. That was one of those. I went to a different, like, space before. Um, Kirk Cousins is going to be fine. You know why the turnover ratio was good? Because he just doesn't turn the ball over a lot.
Okay, that's a good point. He he, he now nah, he does, he's also not making a lot of big plays. Okay? Well, it's a DFS jumped in on the chat. He said uh, no quarterback comes up smaller in big games than Kirk Cousins. Yes. Now no, he did he have is, the massive playoff game, right? You you got the the touchdown pass very end of the game in New Orleans, but other than that, I mean, no, he typically does not come up. He big. usually do, historically he has not come up big in in those games. Um, it, but that's okay. I don't think this team is built on the quarterback being all things to all people, everybody. And I think that's a good thing. I think Zimmerman knows finding a quarterback is really, really hard. I just need one that won't lose his games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. That is going to wrap up our NFC North preview. Uh, obviously, you can go back, download the podcast, get the AFC North preview as well. We will be going through two divisions a day. Uh, tomorrow, we are handling our SBR duties. You can find us at 5.30 p.m. Central Time over at SBR's YouTube page. That is Sportsbook Review, SBR Picks, uh, whatever you want to do. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF to find that. Uh, we appreciate DFS Bachelor coming in and, uh, and joining in the chat there. He jumped in a lot of information for us. Uh, Damien said Vikings are winning the division. Unfortunately, Bears will be getting into the wild card. Hey, you got a lot of faith in the Bears, man. I'm with you. Uh, DFS said the safeties are great in Minnesota. Uh, great point. And he said this feels like 9-7 and seven wins this division. Yeah, 100% because I think they're going to eat each other alive. Uh, go over to winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcast, videos, social media platforms, etc. are over there. You can subscribe to the podcast and leave a nice five-star written review over at Apple Podcast. Or you can just get it on whatever podcast app you like. Whichever one you want, we are on there. Go and check it out. Do us a favor, sign up, download all that good stuff. Stick with us for the entire season. All of our NFL coverage, NBA, Major League Baseball, all the other sports, we will be right here. Our college football coverage will be over at sportsbookreview.com. You can find us at sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. With that, uh, Chris, I think we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Is there anything we need to hit? Nope, that's it, brother. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you, everyone, that jumped into the chat and helped drive the show today. We appreciate you guys helping shape the narrative of what we are talking about. The conversations are fantastic. With that said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we will see you again tomorrow. <laughs>